For many collectors, the Rolex Datejust is their gateway or where they go to first when they want to start, especially when they're looking into getting, you know, their first really big luxury purchase. But the fact of the matter is that a Rolex Datejust these days, a Datejust 41 in steel with a white gold bezel, will cost you around 10,000 euros at retail. So today we're going to be looking at a potential entire collection that you could build for less than the price of a Rolex Datejust. To start out, of course, we need to make sure that we're accounting for what the Datejust does. At the end of the day, the Datejust is a very versatile watch. It can be your dress watch, it can be your everyday watch, it has 100 meters of water resistance. So you need a bit of an all-rounder to start things off, otherwise you're sacrificing what you wanted originally. And for that, we have the Frédéric Constant High Life in this case, the one with the COSC certified movement. So this still has a Salida SW200 based movement. However, it is a COSC certified one. So it's the highest grade of this particular movement that you can get from Salida. And it still covers all of the bases that the date just does. It has 100 meters of water resistance. Its design definitely lends itself to being something either elegant or sporty. And while yes, it is 39 millimeters versus the date just 41 millimeters, because of its cushion shaped profile, it still has roughly the same presence on the wrist when you put it on. But where it differs from the Datejust is that obviously it is much more stylized. This is an integrated bracelet steel sports watch. So you're even getting a little bit of that magic of, you know, the Royal Oak or the Nautilus in something that costs less than 2000 euros. And with this, you're set for your all rounder. It's something you can wear to any occasion. It's versatile. It has that interesting globe style engraving on it to give it a little bit more pop when you look at the dial versus something a bit more conventional. However, if we're talking value for money, we can't continue the conversation without talking about Zenith. Zenith, both on the new and retail market, offers some of the best value for money when you're talking about craftsmanship and engineering. So today we have an example of the venerable Zenith El Primero. Now this is a 42 millimeter variant, so it is a little bit bigger than what you would see in terms of the Datejust, However, with its classic lines and on a leather strap, it doesn't wear excessively large either. This would wear, for example, a little bit smaller than something like an Omega Speedmaster. But packed inside is so much. On the inside, you have, of course, the legendary El Primero 400 movement. So that's a column wheel chronograph, high beat movement, and with a date as well. So you cover all the bases, but now you have something that has a little bit more of that vintage older style design. This particular one with its outlines for the subdials and its blued hands it just adds a little bit more class. So with this collection already, we've already got your all-rounder and now you have a chronograph and not just some 7750 based chronograph either, an in-house movement with plenty of history behind it. Remember this was one of the first automatic chronographs ever made in contention with the Tag Heuer Caliber 11 from 1969. Speaking of Tag Heuer though, that's actually where we find the third watch on our list. And that is the Tag Heuer Carrera GMT. Now, right away, this is something a little bit different because normally you think of the Carrera as being a chronograph. So this adds a little bit of a dimension of diversity in that it's not what you normally would associate with the Carrera shape. However, you still get that iconic design with those nice plunging lugs, but a little bit of a different form to what we're used to. This one is also a 41 millimeter with 100 meters of water resistance. So again, it doubles a bit more as your all rounder However, unlike the Frederic Constant, it doesn't have the integrated bracelet, which means it has a lot more flexibility for getting aftermarket straps, and it's just a different look overall that you can play with. And of course, if you're going to be traveling, it's very useful to have that GMT complication. And then that sort of rounds out a very balanced collection that you can get. You've gone from spending 10,000 euros on just a three-hander with a date to having a three-hander with a date and an integrated bracelet, a chronograph with an in-house movement and a high beat and a GMT movement that still carries that iconic look. And you've got plenty of variety in colors as well. We have a green, a white and a blue versus only choosing one watch with one color. At the end of the day, some people will still want to go for the date just and you can't blame them to some degree. It is an icon. It's a status symbol and it's still a very well made watch. So let me know in the comments below what would you go for? Would you go for an entire collection or would you get just that one icon? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you like this video, then make sure you like it and share it. If you want to see more videos about watches every week, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as well. But thanks for joining us on this quick exploration of a full collection that you can get for less than the price of a day just.